Well, here I am on my front porch, and may I just say, it's warm. <laughs> it's very warm, but I love the setting because I love my pretty wreath and my little fake flowers and my little fish. Takes me back to the low country. You know, I was thinking about this time of year and about playing at my friend's house in the low country on John's Island. I've always wanted a pony, and they had a little pony named Peanut. Well, that was the prettiest little horse I had ever seen in my life. Oh, just that Palomina color, just gorgeous. And I remember that pony loved to be petted. And I would pet the head and the neck and just loved it. And I thought, we're friends. And then I made the crucial mistake of walking behind the pony. And it kicked me into next week. <laughs> that hurt. Then I started thinking about the time I had on a two-piece swimsuit. Okay, I hadn't worn a two-piece swimsuit since then. I think I was six. And I was petting Peanut and everything was good. And all of a sudden he opened his mouth and took a hunk of flesh right out of my midriff. He must have thought I was feeding him a sandwich or something. And I thought, oh my gosh, you know, I exposed myself. And then I remember thinking, my friends were saying, oh, ride the pony, ride the pony. So saddled up, everything was fine. And I'm thinking, this will be great. I get to ride the pony. What is so dumb? First of all, he kicked me. He bit me. What was I expecting? Him just to give me flowers or something? So sure enough, got on the pony. He bucked me so high and I fell right behind that horse. And I'm thinking, ah, this is ridiculous. Why can't I learn the first time? So I started thinking about how that segues into life lessons and how people will so fool you. And I, I couldn't help but to think about the time I was in a meeting and all these women were just ripping up this other woman, ripping her apart. And I'm going, oh my gosh. And they're talking about Louisa, Louisa. And mean, just mean, just like that pony. And all of a sudden the door opens in walks Louisa. And I'm not making this up. This is how it went. Well, I think it's disgusting that she went, oh, Louisa, darling. I mean, completely changed. Didn't come up for air. But, you know, you have to be careful. You just do. Uh, when you're young, like I was, you don't understand, you know, the, the nature of things that happen that hurt us. You don't. Even when you get older, you can get kind of ornery about it. But it's important to look at life lessons, even in the case of peanut, I call him the precarious pony. Because what I learned was, you know, there are going to be times when people are going to throw you for a loop. There's no question, just like getting bucked off that crazy nutty horse named Peanut, okay? There'll be times when you could expose yourself and think this is going to be okay. Oh, no, here comes the big bite, the big hurt yet again. And there are times maybe when you think you've got a friend and you're all involved in a relationship or whatever, and sure enough, you walk away and you get kicked into tomorrow. So what did I learn from Peanut? Well, maybe some wisdom for sure. Uh, I learned that um, don't act like Peanut's patootie. <laughs> don't be like that. Be the kind of person that's attractive to others. Be kind hearted. Use some horse sense. Does that make sense? And just try to live your best life and be careful because folks can really they can throw you. And, and then I've seen people be so affected by mean people. They, they get a hard shell. Isn't that clever? Like a peanut. Or uh, maybe they, they become hot, like hot peanuts. You know, they boiled, as we say in the South. Uh, angry is what I'm saying. And then you have to realize some people are kind of nuts, to be honest. So when you think about it, and I like to buy those mixed nuts, we should all be living together, just like in that can of mixed nuts. You've got different kinds of peanuts and walnuts and pistachios, I'll say it eventually, but all of these together. And that's kind of like how we live. So be the kind of person that attracts people, that's known for kindness, uh, philanthropy, having a good heart. So that's a good lesson, right? Remember those life lessons from Peanut, the precarious pony.